Hello everyone. Hello my friends and family that are out there. My soul family, my star family. I want to talk about the energies that have been going around lately. It's been quite intense and I've had a very interesting take um, and like uh, realization of what is going on. So I've noticed this all began around April 2nd, that Saturday. Think back to that almost two weeks ago. Where were you at? What was going on? Did things feel off? Did things feel different? And it wasn't like a bad different or a negative different. It was just off. I personally got ill that day. It was like a 12 hour bug. A couple of my other friends uh, got ill and it got to me thinking like, okay, what is this different energy? It's different. It's off. It's not, like I said, it's not light. It's not dark. It just is. So I was pondering upon that when my boyfriend Callum and I were lying in bed and all of a sudden our cat Cleo was freaking out. She saw something on the wall above our heads and was like tracking it and watching it. And it was like going from wall to wall. And I was like, okay, I'm like, there was no bug. There was no light. There was no spider web. And I, I'm like, okay, it must be spirit. It has to be spirit. So we like to play this game with our cat of uh, whoever our spiritual team is around. Like I asked my main spirit guide, Eloise. I'm like, Eloise, if it's you, flick Cleo's ears. Nothing. Uh, Callum's guide. I asked for Callum's guide. Is it his guide? Have Cleo flick her tail? Nothing. We went through all our guides, all our angels, and she was still just tracking it. A little disturbed, I could tell. She was, she was, a, uh, she was not liking the energy. Finally, I asked, "Is it Yeshua?" And her eyes got as big as saucers, and her face went back like somebody got into her face because she hates people in her face. And I was like, oh, okay, 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 cool. All right, it's Yeshua, cool. I'm like, thank you, Yeshua. Please have her calm down now. And she immediately fell asleep. And then as soon as she fell asleep, Callum and I distinctly knew, noticed a beautiful golden light surrounding us. Now I know this golden light as the golden light of the Christ consciousness. And I was asking Yeshua, I'm like, why are you surrounding us? And he was stating that it was in order to protect us in not his exact terms, but he basically said shit was about to go down. Like things were about to happen and life was about to change. And I'm like, great. So the next day, that Monday or the Sunday, I couldn't get out of bed. It was like 1230 before I could get out of bed. It was just sluggish and uh, it was just, again, the energy was just off. Talked to a couple of friends over the week and uh, one had mentioned that it felt like an alternate dimensional angel. Now, everybody who knows me, I don't get too woo woo out there. Like I'm pretty practical, but this hit home for me. I was like, alternate dimensional angel. Okay, this, this, this hits home for me. This feels right. So I went and meditated on that. Outside of my normal meditation times, I really dug deep. And I learned, and you know me, I'm a huge believer, take what you want and leave the rest. But what I got was it was an alternate dimensional version of Archangel Michael. Now we all know our lovely Archangel Michael, our protector, very, very blue. And it was different because this Archangel Michael was a light blue, very light, almost like lilac blue. And I got to talking to him once I, you know, determined who I was talking with and what their purpose was, because I, you know, I talk about this all the time. If you are a channel, know who you are channeling, know who you are talking to before you communicate. So once I was comfortable and knew who I was talking to, I started talking. I'm like, why are you here? And it was interesting because it literally, as soon as I felt it, 
and I started to become clear of his purpose here, it was like the rose colored glasses were being lifted off my eyes. The wool was being removed, as they would say. And I was becoming so clear about all my traumas, about everything that was off in my life. All my triggers, everything was just becoming blatantly obvious and in my face. So he also showed me an interesting tool. You know, like those uh, painter scrapers that they use? It was like that type of tool that he had. And he was literally going and popping off old wounds that had scabbed over that I had not properly healed. So he was literally going and everything, everything was fresh. Everything was new again. Everything was uncomfortable. Things I thought I had healed when I was 15, 16 years old are all coming back to the surface again. It has been chaotic. It has been horrible. And there goes spirit with my printer turning off. It's legit. It's going, it's, there's, it's going off. <laughs> the energy was going off. It's, it's, it has been some of the most difficult days of my life since again, I was 15, 16 years old. Very dark spiraling times right now. And so I wanted to make this video to let you all know that I'm going through it too. Everyone I have talked to has confirmed. Yes, the same thing is happening to them. The same there. We are all going through the same thing. So Archie, this alternate, I call it alternate Michael. <laughs> alternate Michael is here for the good. It is here for showing us those scabs that we have allowed to scab over those wounds that we've allowed to scab over. They are coming off and we are more raw and more vulnerable than ever. Uh, than ever. So the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to hide? Are you going to use alternate mind substances to go away? Are you going to take over the counter meds to hide? Are you going to lose yourself in a video game? Are you going to lose yourself in some numb minding mind numbing TV? No. This is our test. This is our test to step up. No more hiding. No more waiting behind the shadows. You know, if you have followed me for a while, I will go live for a little bit and then I'll step back. And it is time to step into who we are. And it's not like take the big leap of faith, leave your job, leave that relationship. No, but become aware. Become aware of what's holding you back. Become aware of stuck energy. Become aware of stagnant energy. Call upon alternate Michael to pop things off for you because it is time. And speaking with another friend, we both agreed this is the time of age where nothing is 100% guaranteed. There's a lot of my clients right now that are asking for significant detailed information and it's just not available. It's not available right now. We are on a new playing field. This is new energy. We are moving into, in 2027, a whole new era, a whole new way of being. And this is, we're just firing up. We're just firing up. So it's asking you no longer to hide. I will do my best to step up and not hide and begin to share more and more with you. I will make that commitment for this information needs to come out. Please know you are not alone. You are not alone. There are resources out there that can help you. If you deal with suicidal tendencies, if you are feeling like life is way too much, the suicide hotline is 1-800-273-8255. Again, that's 1-800-273-8255. For none of us is truly alone. There is always help out there. And I give this number out because I have myself been suffering from this. 
yes, I'm going to come out and say it. I have been suffering from this. I was very, very close to dialing this hotline not too many days ago because we are in spiraling dark times. Even me who can communicate and connect in with spirit, I still struggle. My main struggle is I have learned that from a young age when I would become too much or I would talk too much spirituality or talk about my imaginary friends or I become too hyper, my mom would go and get me McDonald's. She would go and get me fast food. She told me it would calm me down. Now I know that it numbed me. All this additives, all the sugar, it numbs me because it was my coping mechanism. That is how I hide. So knowing this, knowing now that, wow, that's how I hide. Because what if, I think to myself, what if I don't eat the sugar and become elevated? What if I see, sense, hear spirit on a whole new level that I already do? Will I lose myself? Will I lose my friends? Will I be the same Krista? And through my faith and my love of Magdalene, she says, no, no, this is part of your path, part of your journey, part of being who you are and stepping into your own truth. Know, my dear ones, that you are, again, not alone. You are heard, you are seen, you are uplifted. Please, again, if there is anything that you need help with, that number again is 1-800-273-8255. I give you so much love and so much blessings, and I'll leave you with that for now.